Welcome back to Talking Retail. Well, retailers reported January sales today, and there wasn't much to cheer about. Same store sales across the industry fell, on average, 1.8%, according to a Thomson Reuters survey of 33 chains. But it wasn't as bad as many had feared. More than half of the retailers pooled didn't do quite as bad as analysts had expected. There were also some bright spots, starting with Walmart. But more interesting to me is the performance turned in by the buckle. This Nebraska teen powerhouse keeps beating its much larger competitors. The buckle reported a 14.7% rise in Jan January same-store sales, and an impressive 14.3% rise for the full year. Now by comparison, American Eagle Outfitters, which also targets the same market, had comps that were off 22% in January. Another teen retailer that's shown surprising strength in these recessionary times is Arrow Postal, which posted an 11% rise in its January comps. Now, I know quite a few teens who are devoted Arrow Postal shoppers. When I ask them why they like it so much, they invariably say the same thing. The merchandise is good, not too trendy. It's the kind of stuff we can wear to school and not get any grief, they say. They also point out that something's always on sale. There's always a good promotion. Now, let's just take a moment to consider Gap Inc. The company reported a 23% drop in its January same-store sales, led by a 34% plunge at its long-suffering Old Navy division. Despite the dismal results, however, the chain raised its fiscal earnings forecast, crediting January cost control efforts. Now, Gap has been playing this same tune for quite a while, and I just wonder how long it can go before it's all played out. Its CEO, Glenn Murphy, continues to fly under the radar. 2008 marked his first full year as chief executive, and while he's shown much talent for cutting cost, he's had far less success in reversing Gap's protracted sales decline. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Miriam Wilson for talking retail.